Hello my dear professionals, welcome to the HR Destination, a channel that is dedicated to make you a successful HR professional. Today we are discussing a very important topic about certifications in HR and mainly two of them because they are the most renowned certifications in HR, SHRM and PHR certification. So by the end of this video, you will understand what exactly are these two certifications. Number two, who can do them? What is the eligibility criteria for both of them? What is the cost for both of them? What are the exam dates for 2022 for both the certifications? And most important of all, which among these two is preferred by employers in recent times so that you can decide accordingly and can harness the value that these two certifications provide. So with that note, let's get started. So we'll start with SHRM CP and SHRM SCP certification first. Uh, these are the two certifications, Certified Professional and Senior Certified Professional. Both of them are given by the Society of Human Resource Management. SHRM is a globally recognized human resource organization and in fact, one of the largest and oldest in terms of the certifications that you see in HR. But does that mean that it is the most valuable certification that you see in the market today? We'll figure that out. CP certification provided by SHRM is essentially for mid-level uh, human resource professionals. Though the certification eligibility criteria says that they do not require any specific HR title, job title or any specific HR degree, uh, but the person should definitely have some experience into HR and even if it does not say in words, but for sure when you see the description of their uh, certification test, you will find out that you need to have, you must have certain years of experience into HR. Otherwise Otherwise, it's impossible for you to crack this exam because this is not something that is theoretical and you can read from somewhere and uh, answer the question. Certifications like these are always based on real life scenarios and you'll not be able to answer them if you have not handled those kind of scenarios in your real job, which means you must have two to three years of experience when you go through these certifications. Otherwise, they are not worth. I let you know the reason as well when we discuss the cost factor of it. Now, when it comes to senior CP certification given by SHRM, it is for senior professionals, professionals that have significant number of years of experience in taking strategic decisions, designing policies, framing people's roadmap in that organization where the person has utilized his or her HR skills to take organization ahead. And the eligibility criteria on their website for senior CP certification also says that the person must be experienced enough at least for three years he or she should be in a position where uh, he or she has handled some strategic work and have at least devoted 1000 hours per calendar year with that organization in the position of strategic HR. Now coming to the cost of these certifications, why I told you that when you are going for uh, CP certification from SHRM, though the website as such do not mention any specific years of experience for CP certification but you must have at least in my opinion three years of experience in your HR operation role is this reason. The average cost, the standard cost of the certification revolves around $475 which will be equivalent to $37,000. If you calculate by current conversion prices of dollar, it will revolve around that amount 37 to uh, 38,000 rupees. So if you are just preparing theoretically and you feel that you are ready enough to give the certification, you'll lose your money for no reason because unless you have some experience, hands on experience in your HR profession, you will not be able to clear the certification and then you'll end up simply wasting your money. So for 2022, for the first window is already over for these certifications by SHRM, but there's another uh, window coming up in the month of November. So if you are really prepared or you want to prepare for the certification, you can aim for the November window. Now let's talk about PHR and SPHR. Both these certifications are offered by HRCI, which is Human Resource Certification Institute. Now HRCI is not as big or as old as uh, SHRM, but we will definitely see what's trending in the market in a while. Now it's interesting to know that HRCI provides many more certifications than just these two. You can see on the screen right from a junior or beginner level to a globally certified human resource professional, they have it all. That means you have different level of certifications and if you are doing one, the interviewer, the organization straightforward know that at what level you are standing. If you are a beginner, you will take a beginner certification. If you are if you want to be a globally certified HR, then you can go for the global certification. But major this is for the professionals who are working on a very senior level positions where they have to take decision for 
multinational companies where they have employees across the globe and decision making gets difficult then they have to get these certifications to let the employer know that they are eligible and if somebody is working as a freelance consultant then uh, that person can also get certified to let the company or the client know that he is certified to manage and take decisions for a global workforce so now let's talk about the cost the cost of these certifications ranges anywhere between 300 to 500 dollar and also there's an application fee of 100 dollars so you have to be really mindful when you're going for these kind of certifications because they are a lot of cost now let's quickly compare the two which is the best which is trending what you should opt now shrm as i said is an organization which is one of the oldest and largest in terms of certifications when it comes to hr but their certification do not include the compliance and legal side of HR. So if you are a HR journalist who is working in global organization where they have separate teams for legal and compliance and you feel that you are never going to touch those areas in your career or maybe you're not even interested to work in those areas then you can take up shrm as a certification but if you want to expand your reach and come across as a full-fledged hr professional then i would say that you should go for phr and uh, senior uh, phr certification because they certify that you have knowledge and experience into all functions of hr be it operation be it business partnering be it legal and compliance beat l and d everything so obviously by now it must be clear to you which is valuable more in the market it's obviously uh, phr and sphr because uh, SHRM is more on soft skills and uh, which do not include the legal and compliance part which is a very important part of uh, being a HR especially when you climb up the ladder where you are being the global head or uh, head of the company as a HR you need to have knowledge regarding all those functions you cannot avoid them obviously every HR when they reach that level they have certain knowledge regarding those aspects as well but if you want to project yourself as a certified professional then only PHR and SPHR are the certifications that certify that you have that knowledge so if you want to project yourself a global certified professional who have all the skills that are required to be there on top position for a HR then I would say to choose the certification that are provided by HRCI a generic PHR certification breakup would look like this you can see on the screen they have a very beautiful breakup to include all HR functions into this certification out of which 39% goes to employee and labor relations 20% business management 16 talent planning and acquisition 15% on total rewards and 10% on learning and development and also it's worth mentioning that SHRM is a membership organization which is they provide membership you can visit their website and be a member which means that you can avail certain offers when it comes to certifications which mean that some part of knowledge can be compromised when it comes to their members so so that though is not a very big issue but it can raise a question in mind of people who are evaluating both the certifications from SHRM and from HRCI. HRCI is not a membership organization. It, ju it just governs the test and offers these certifications and they do not provide any kind of membership and you do not get any kind of offer, favor or wave off in terms of eligibility, your knowledge or your skills on the job. So guys, I hope that's clear. If you are more on an HR journalist or administrator side of HR and you do not intend to project yourself as a complete uh, HR professional, then you may go for SHRM. But if you want to project yourself on more global standards, then you must go for PHR and SPHR certification. With that, we came to the end of this video. I really hope you derived a lot of value from this conversation. And if you still have questions, queries around this topic, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. With that, I'm signing off. You stay tuned to the HR destination. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye. Thank you.